South Lake Police Chief James Brandon has faced his share of danger. As far back as he can remember, Brandon wanted to be a cop. He started his path to South Lake with the Corpus Christi Police Department. Um, I can remember having conversations where I would have told you I will never be a chief. I don't have that desire. Um, but every time there was an opening in the level above me, I thought, well, I think I can do that and I think I can do a good job and I don't want to let somebody else do it because maybe they don't do a good job. Uh, so I just, I always joke that I stumble a lot, I just fall upwards. He climbed the ranks in Corpus Christi until he was recruited to South Lake as an assistant chief and then named chief of police in 2015. Chief Brendan led the department to eight straight years of accreditation by the Center for Law Enforcement Accreditation, a distinction shared by fewer than 2% of Texas public safety agencies. In 2015, the department earned gold standard accreditation. An innovative school resource officers program earned awards and recognition for the department and officers involved. Life was good, so in 2020, when tests revealed that he had gastric adenocarcinoma, an aggressive cancer that attacks the glands and the body's organs, the young chief had some decisions to make. I think for me, and everybody's experiences may be different, but that's processed almost like a, uh, almost like a death notification. Um, and then I was told pretty early on that it was extensive and that there was probably nothing that they could really do. More testing, however, gave doctors hope, and Brandon spent the next three years undergoing multiple surgeries and 22 rounds of chemotherapy. Chief Brandon's leadership philosophy boils down to one thing, care about your people, a tenet that reverberates throughout the department and has come back to him tenfold. That if I take care of the police officers and make sure that they have the right work environment and the right training and the right tools and the right policies and the right support, then they'll take care of the citizens. But who would support Chief Brandon? What I remember is that uh, upon diagnosis thinking, um, is it gonna kill me and how am I gonna keep food on the table for my family? Those were my two main questions. South Lake City Manager Shauna Yelverton had no problem making sure those questions were never an issue. Working with the council and mayor, Yelverton gave Chief Brandon the flexibility to continue his life's work while he fought the cancer. What I remember from her is just feeling reassured that I could deal with this health problem and not worry about a lot of the other things. Uh, she's been awesome. I'll, I will always owe her for how she treated me through this. In the meantime, Deputy Chief Ashley Casey and the department's leadership team continued on the management course that has made the department and Chief Brandon unique in the field of law enforcement and earned him recognition in 2022 with the city's Outstanding Strategic Performance Award. In a profession where turnover is high, Chief Brandon is marking his eighth year as chief. And while other departments often face challenges with morale, an independent audit shows morale at the South Lake PD is among the highest of any city department. Coming from a, a larger police department than this, there are many of those chiefs who take those jobs and on day one, everyone begins working against them. It's just the, the timer's running, whether it lasts a year or whether it lasts four years. Or, um, it's kind of like swimming through sharks or alligators, I think, sometimes. Chief Brandon seems to have found success in navigating those waters. One way he's found to do this is to get down to the nitty-gritty with officers and asking them, what's stupid? And actually listening to their answers. So if we try to make their lives better and try not to take up their time with things that they don't need to be devoting their time to, then they can do a better job of, of doing the things that actually cause them to be a police officer. With prayer, the love and support of his family and the city, Chief Brandon and his doctors fought his cancer to a standstill. In spite of the medical challenges, his goals haven't wavered. He's continuing to give the South Lake Police Department the tools it needs to keep South Lake safe for years to come. The, they treat me great. My bosses are great. Council's great. Mayor's great. So I'm not sure what it is that I would be looking for. So hopefully I can just stay here until I retire.